No matter how much an author tries to squeeze out every possible plot hole from their story, there will always be some here and there, and Harry Potter is no exception. While some of us can go and explicitly ask the author, albeit potentially becoming a punching bag for sassy responses like such, others find it more entertaining to create their own theories behind why the plot of a story worked the way it did. Hey, how's it going guys? The Geeky Informant reporting. So in anticipation of the brand new Fantastic Beasts film dropping in just a few weeks, I decided to scope the internet for some of the craziest Harry Potter theories that will blow your mind. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Really helps me out in the end, and if you want to stay updated on all Geeky Informant videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. So now without further ado, let's get cracking onto these theories. Our first theory deals with the Abracadabra curse. Relax, I know it's a Vada Kedavra. It doesn't take a genius to realize the similarity between the muggle word Abracadabra and Avada Kedavra, the killing curse, but a Reddit user by the name of Joda Tufin links the similarity to a relationship between wizards and muggles that existed before the Statute of Secrecy was passed in 1692, while another Redditor suggests that the killing curse was originally used to cure disease, or kill bacteria and viruses. This makes even more sense because as the Huffington Post pointed out, at one point people thought that abracadabra could cure the symptoms of the bubonic plague. Next up is Harry and Ron's super accurate divination. In Goblet of Fire, Harry and Ron give up on their divination homework and decide to completely make up their predictions. This Tumblr user points out that what they predict seem to be exactly what happens to Harry throughout the rest of the book. He is put in danger of burns during the first task, loses a treasured possession during the second task, is stabbed in the back by a friend, i.e. Professor Moody, and finally comes off worse in a fight. Our third theory involves why the Dementors are the biggest Harry Potter fans. This Reddit user by the name of, well, this, points out that because Harry was a horcrux, he had just a little bit more soul than everyone else, while Lupin explains to Harry that the Dementors are more interested in him because of the horrific things he has experienced in his past. This could be the real reason. This theory involves the Dursley's influence on Harry Potter growing up. Almost every single character trait exhibited by Harry can be linked back to his time at the Dursleys. He's a good seeker because he was malnourished enough to be small and fast. He had gained excellent reflexes from constantly dodging their swings at him. He wants to protect and help others because no one else helped him. He hates bullies like Malfoy because he was bullied. He doesn't try at school because he was never encouraged at home and in fact was probably punished if he did better than Dudley. Even Harry's lack of curiosity about his family and his past leading to Hermione and Ron to explain everything is linked back to the number one rule at the Dursleys, don't ask questions. Next up is the wizards that had less SEX. In a chat with fans hosted by Scholastic.com in 2000, Raul- <coughs> sorry, Rowling told an inquisitive reader that there are about a thousand students at Hogwarts. Since then, fans have been very puzzled as to how that adds up. If there are a thousand students at Hogwarts, there should be roughly 35 students in each house each year. And yet, there only appear to be 10 Gryffindors in Harry's year. Is this just an oversight by Rowling and there are other unnamed members of Harry's class going about their business? One imaginative fan thinks not. Tumblr user Marauders Forever writes, What if there were less students in the Hogwarts class of 1998 because the period when the other kids would have been conceived between the years 1979 and 1981 was when Voldemort's reign of power was at its peak. Between the dozens of adults who joined the Order, the dozens of civilians who were killed in Death Eater raids, and the dozens of adults that didn't want to bring a child into the world, just then, it's actually entirely possible that there was a baby drought for a few years in the wizarding world, leading to a smaller class size a decade later. While intriguing and logically plausible, Rowling most likely didn't think this one all the way through. Now it wouldn't be a Harry Potter video without Neville, right? Here's a Neville theory involving his wand. Because he chose his father's wand, Neville didn't let the wand choose him. This explains the constant misfires, but it worked well enough because it was his dad's. 
When Neville's wand is broken at the Battle of the Department of Mysteries, he gets a new one at Ollivander's. This time, the wand shows him and set him up for his final battle with Voldemort. Next up is the crazy theory on how the Weasley's fate was written from the start. This user states, When George lost an ear, I knew Fred was doomed. All the Weasley names except for Ron are either the names of a British king or queen or an Arthurian name. King George III was deaf in one ear, and he became king because of the untimely death of Prince Frederick. This last theory involves what Neville's Rememberall was actually indicating Neville forgot. We all remember Neville getting this ball in his first year, but this theory states what he was forgetting was his robe. This is proven here because, as you can see, he isn't wearing his robe. Why is this important? Because in the very next scene, it's his robe that saves him not once, but twice from a catastrophic fall. So what did you think of these theories? Do you agree or disagree with any? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please show that like button no mercy! And don't forget to subscribe, because the last thing you want is to miss out on another dank geeky video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week with another brand new video. And stay informed, my friends. Peace.